We've covered a lot of amazing Chinese construction projects in past videos. But have you ever wondered why China's civil engineering can impress the world? Is it because of its advanced technology, long architectural history, or the courage to challenge nature? Today, I would like to share with you a project that best represents the spirit of Chinese architecture. It is the Red Flag Canal, known as the eighth architectural wonder in the world. Perhaps from this miracle project, we can find the answer to why Chinese architecture can shock the world. July 6, 1969, is a memorable day to the people of the Linxian County in Hunan Province. On that very day, they celebrated the completion of the Red Flag Canal. This 1500 km long irrigation canal transfers precious life saving water from the, the neighbor Pingshan County to their arid hometown. Most importantly, the canal's planning, design, construction, and project management were all undertaken and completed by the Linxian people themselves with their own diligent efforts, local talents, and available resources. While working voluntarily on the canal project, the Linxian people endured involuntarily many extreme ecological, economic, and political hardships, each of which alone could have made the mission impossible. These hardships include, but are not limited to those associated with the country's three years of economic difficulty, 1959 to 1961, and cultural revolution, 1966 to 1976. With unyielding courage, they overcame the myriad of extreme hardships and eventually brought the canal into being. If you look back at the history of Linzhou, you will find that this place has suffered from droughts. The old people in Linzhou always mentioned such a tragic story, saying that in 1920, an old man named Sang Linmao walked 20 miles, waited in line for a day, and finally picked up two buckets of water from the mountains. When he arrived home, his daughter-in-law accidentally overturned the hard-won water, and she finally hanged herself silently. Water is life, this is the true portrayal of Linzhou, and it is also the pain of Linzhou people. In order to solve the drought in Linzhou, many ponds, deep wells and reservoirs were built one after another before 1956. However, the limestone is densely covered, like a big funnel, allowing the river water to seep indiscriminately, and even the groundwater is pitiful. People in Linzhou urgently need a big river that will never dry up to nourish the scarred land, and Red Flag Canal is such a river that will never dry up in people's hearts. Now, if you drive along the main canal of Red Flag Canal, you will find that the canal is built on the high mountainside, but the Zhuozhang River as the water source flows at the foot of the mountain. This is because the terrain of the Zhuozhang River is very undulating, and there are many cliffs like waterfalls in the middle. In this way, when the river water reaches the territory of Linzhou, the water level is lower than that of the farmland in the basin. How to introduce the river water into the basin has become a big problem. In order for the river water to flow into the Linzhou Basin smoothly, two necessary conditions must be met. One is to ensure that the canal is a gentle slope so that the river can flow down by itself. The other is that when the canal reaches the territory of Linzhou, the water level must be slightly higher on the ground. That is to say, during construction, workers must ensure that every 8 kilometers of distance, the drop should not exceed 1 meter. This kind of precision is difficult to grasp, and there were no precise measuring instruments at that time. There were only two measuring instruments and one level instrument in the whole county of Linzhou. In this case, an ancient instrument called water duck was brought to the construction site. However, this obsolete equipment, put together by three boards and two wires plus a water basin, incredibly measured the slope of the Red Flag Canal at only 1 8,000. But is it really feasible to cut the wall and break the rock on the edge of the steep cliff? Faced with such a huge and complex project, local leaders were very hesitant. Let's not talk about whether it will succeed in the end. Once the construction is started on the cliff, if you are not careful, you will be in danger of death. Moreover, the local government can't pay the wages and can only supply food for the workers. Then, who is willing to risk their lives to do such a difficult task without pay? However, the enthusiasm and desire of the people exceeded the imagination of the leaders. In 1960, more than 37,000 ordinary farmers, carrying hoes and hammers, walked firmly from the back of the Taihang Mountains, like a long march army. And in the later construction, 
a total of 300,000 people participated in the construction of the Red Flag Canal in Linjo County, which has only 600,000 people in total. Be sure to bring back the water. This is the firmest belief in the hearts of all those who volunteered to participate in the Red Flag Canal project. However, in the process of excavating the rock, what kind of problems will be encountered? The first is the shortage of supplies. It was a difficult period of three years of natural disasters, and the whole of China was suffering from famine. Against such a background, the people of Linzhou County decided not to wait and rely on themselves and become self reliant. If you don't have enough funds, you can go to various places to raise them yourself. If you don't have enough hammers and hoes, you can make them yourself. Lime and cement are burned by yourself, and even explosives are made by yourself. According to statistics, in the process of repairing the canal, the people of Linjo made 5,170 tons of cement, 1,215 tons of explosives, and 145,000 tons of lime. The workers drank rice soup every day, and when there was not enough food, they used wild vegetables and aquatic plants to satisfy their hunger. The second biggest difficulty is the lack of efficient and labor-saving equipment and technology. Now we can dig tunnels and repair subways using various geological drilling rigs and shield machines, and also have advanced measuring instruments to ensure the accuracy of construction. But at that time, except for the ability to use explosives to blast a foothold on the cliff for workers to stand, all the tools for digging were hammers and hoes. The simple tools undoubtedly made the amount of work so huge that no matter the 60-year-old old man in Linjo County, the 17-year-old young man, and even many women have joined in one after another. The third difficulty is the danger of construction on the cliff. In order to ensure that the canal is built into a gentle slope with a gradient of 1 8,000, the main canal of the Red Flag Canal with a total length of 70 kilometers must be carried out on the wall of the river valley, and then the water diversion channel will be built, and the protruding part of the mountain will advance along the edge of the cliff. But there is no crane to climb the cliff, only a rope can be used to hang people on the edge of the cliff and volley. In 1965, when the main canal of Red Flag Canal was successfully opened, landslides and falling rocks had already claimed the lives of 81 migrant workers. 1,250 hills were leveled, 211 tunnels were dug through, and 15.15 million cubic meters of earth and stone were dug and laid, in exchange for a life-saving river that lasted for decades. And we will always remember this project. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.